drip got ripped. This is this is horrible. You know, this this is a travesty on a beautiful ding dong hello segment. The two best friends back at it again. How how is this possible? But that's not all that we saw. Tension between the Usos and Roman Reigns continues. A new Hell in a Cell match is formed between Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio. And what exactly happened to Otis's face? And Dabakato makes his in-ring debut next week. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kimmy Talk Wrestling. And we are reviewing last night's episode of Friday Night Smackdown. And we are starting... So let's start with tag team. We saw Kevin Owens teaming with Big E to take on Apollo Crews and Sami Zayn in an excellent 15 to 20 minute tag team match going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Kevin Owens pins Sami Zayn to get the win. Apollo Crews gets on the microphone and basically says, how are you celebrating? The only reason you guys won is because I was paired with this idiot. So let's do this again next week. It'll be the two of you versus me and my commander Aziz, also known as Dabakato. I'm excited. So this is Dabakato's or Commander Aziz's first match since he's transformed into Commander Aziz. And I believe even when he was Dabakato. So this is SmackDown debut. I'm assuming Apollo and Commander Aziz are going to get the win. But I'm really excited. This is, this is big. A debut. Yay! And now the Usos, the Usos and Roman Reigns just can't see eye to eye, can they? So basically, we start off and we're, you know, rewatching what happened last week. And Jay and Reigns are sitting there, and Reigns is like, you know, we're we're defending our family. You gotta take your brother under control. What is he doing? And he, Jimmy walks out, and Jimmy goes, "You know what? We got screwed last week. We should be celebrating the seven-time tag team champions, and we're gonna make this right." And Reigns is like, "You gotta go control him." Then Jimmy and Jay cut a backstage segment, and they're basically arguing, saying, "This, like, why do you have to stay loyal to Reigns?" And Jay's just like, you know, he's he's done everything for us. He's representing our family so well. Why wouldn't I be loyal to him? And now they go back and Reigns. So they, they were invited to the Usa's locker room. Reigns is like, your locker room? Okay, I'm going to go to my, our locker room. Okay. So then um, they're fighting and Jay's like, you know what? I'm out of here. This is too much for me. I'm leaving. So now Jimmy challenges Reigns. Where that's going, I don't know, but this is really interesting. I'm going to assume that Jimmy and Jay are both going to turn on Reigns during the Hell in a Cell match with Rey Mysterio, which we'll get to in a second, but I just like how they're continuing. You know, technically one who's a face, one's a heel. Reigns is just like, I'm in charge of SmackDown. Why, sh why is no one bowing down to me, your tribal chief? So this stuff is really good. I think it's one of the more better stories in WWE right now and I think it's stories like that that make SmackDown the better show compared to Raw. So that was good and now obviously last week Reigns beat down Dominic that's the whole thing about how they got DQ'd in the tag team match second time around and so Reigns like you know you put your hand on my side I wanted to challenge you. So they go in the ring and Ray is like I embrace you or I acknowledge you as like a bastard who put his hands on my son and I like started to beat it. So now Reigns is just laughing and Ray goes, I want to challenge you with Hell in a Cell. Acknowledge that. And they go into this beat down and there's a kendo stick and Reigns is just beating down Ray. And then Ray gets advantage and Dominic comes in and, Dom and Reigns threw Dominic out of the ring, which was scary. So it looks like it's going to be Reigns and Mysterio. And Hell in a Cell, in a Hell in a Cell match, which was rumored the past week. 
And I'm excited for that. I think Ray is going to do a really good job putting Reigns over. And I think that this is going to be one of the marquee matches of Hell in a Cell compared to what Raw has come up with. So this match is going to be a banger. And like I said, I think this is where the Usos turn. And they're going to be faces that are going to win the tag title. I think that's what's going to happen. But keeping on tag teams. So it was, um, it was Chad Gable versus Montez Ford. And, it, and obviously they didn't want Otis or Angelo ringside. And Otis shaved his beard. So Otis basically has like a ponytail now. And it, it, it just looks so weird. Um, obviously Monta so this match didn't end because Ot Otis just runs out there after destroying Angelo. Causes the DQ after a stellar match between both men. I mean, they both have amateur wrestling backgrounds. So this match was really, really good. And then Angelo comes out just even up the odds and Gable and Otis have the advantage. So this is going to be a tag team match. And probably the winners of that are going to verse the Usos after they beat the tag after they beat Ray and Dominic for the tag titles and now now we have to mourn Rollins' drip because it ripped as you see the title of this episode so in a beautiful ding dong hello segment because remember Bailey and Rollins were really close basically they were laughing um, Ronald is putting over Bailey, saying that he thinks that he, she's going to be the one to beat Bianca in Hell in a Cell. Loved the whole laughing thing. Bailey was bringing up the fact how she loved how he beat up Cesaro and did the curb stop stuff three weeks ago. And they're sitting there, they're laughing, they're having a good time. And the doorbell rings. And Ronald goes, oh, you ordered me a present. Bailey's like, oh, you ordered food. So Ronald's like, you know what? You did so much for me. I'll answer the door. And Cesaro was at the door. And Cesaro goes to beat down Rollins and basically rips his pants. So Rollins' is beautiful purple and white suit is now ripped. I'm not happy. This is horrible. I don't know what type of... I This match is definitely going to have a stipulation. I figured it was going to be a Hell in a Cell match, but I don't think we're going to head in that direction. There's going to be another stipulation. I just don't know what it is. But I'm, I'm so sad. Rollins! You don't ruin Rollins' drip. Cesaro. He's coming for you. And this time he's going to win the Hell in a Cell. I'm telling you. And then after that all situated, Bianca came out and left at Bailey. I like Ding Dong Hello. I like this character Bailey. I thought Rollins was really good. And I could totally see them too next Friday. I don't think they're going to do this. But if they did a mixed tag match and it's Rollins and Bailey versus Cesaro and Bianca, that'd be a really good match. If I was booking your programming, that's what I would do. But sadly, I have So that's basically all the major things. I mean, one other thing that happened was when they were showing Bailey when they came back from commercial for Ding Dong and Low, um, the graphics guy messed up and put Brock Lesnar. <laughs> so everyone thinks Brock Lesnar's coming back. It looks like he is, but I'm confused because he's supposed to go to Raw. Challenge Lashley for that title. Not SmackDown Challenge Reigns. But what do I know? So, that's your SmackDown review. After this will be the AEW Dynamite review, which is greatly playing in the background. Make sure to like this video, comment what you guys thought about SmackDown, click that bell for notifications and subscribe, and I'll see you right after this for our AEW Dynamite review.